Good Tuesday evening, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna, keeping an eye on what's going on in the skies overhead, not those stars for right now that you can see overhead on the trellis here at House Onik, but we're keeping an eye on what's going on for you when you can take a look outside and see what's going on. Get your kids interested in astronomy. Go outside, take a look around, see what you can see. Best if you're away from city lights, if at all possible, so a good opportunity to see what's going on there. Tomorrow morning, a rare double flyover of the International Space Space Station. First one will be held at about maybe 5 in the morning, a little bit before about 5 o'clock or so. And this one again will be rising in the southwestern horizon, southeastern horizon, heading up to the northeast. It's going to be fairly low to the horizon. Next one will be in the orbit right after that, and that'll be occurring tomorrow morning just around 6 o'clock. So you can see this going from the west southwest, moving over toward the northeastern horizon, going between the North Star and in and around the area of the northeastern horizon. So it's good opportunity to see that. This one will be brighter. The second one will be brighter than the first one. Unfortunately, you are going to have to get up a little bit early in the morning to see this one. The only thing flying overhead tonight will be the Tiangong 1 Space, Tiangong 2 Space Station. That will be available at about 7 o'clock this evening. Want to see more about what's flying overhead? Go to www.heavensabove.com com heavens hyphen above.com that'll get you to a great website where you can plug in your location find out more about what's going on where what that satellite was and what to look for when it comes to planets and stars and a great sky chart available as well again that's www.heavens-above.com Dot com if you'd like to know more about what's going on. Moon is in its crescent phase, a beautiful shot for tonight. Looking out into and around the area of the horizon, you can see the moon off toward the, between the trees this evening, and not doing too bad. It'll be rising in the next several weeks as it goes toward, again, the next phase of the moon, which will be first quarter in about the next week and a half or so, but it'll stay at a waxing crescent pretty soon, and it'll be around Saturn and Mars as it gets a little bit closer to the next few days, early part of November, looking very quiet out there. Want to know more about these and these maps and information courtesy of earthsky.org if you'd like to know more about what's going on up there. Great website for all kinds of unique space and astronomy type information. If you'd like to know more about websites where you can keep track of weather for astronomy purposes, some great websites available and all I'm going to feature at the Memphis Astronomical Society meeting. That's going to be coming up on Friday evening, this Friday evening at 8 p.m. And if you'd like to know more about that, go to memphisastro.org and you can find out more at wreg.com. That's also coincidentally where we'll be posting more about astronomy and what you can see in the skies above. All you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather and you can check out my social media pages down at the lower portion of the screen.